today on Be Something Wonderful. Revision doesn't change the past. It creates it here and now. I am your host, Tom Kieran, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back and happy Easter here from the studios of Be Something Wonderful. Big video for you today. I want to talk about this client. I said, Tom, I struggled so much with my past, right? With trying to heal my past. We're trying to look at things differently, trying to perceive it differently. And then applying the reality creation techniques that some of them that you teach and others and, and coaches. I've had coaching sessions. I've studied Neville Goddard. I've tried to apply revision, the idea of revising your past or past events. He goes, but all of it, all of it came from this perspective of me trying to change the past or trying to change the events. He goes, I, it wasn't really, I didn't really get it until I found your channel and you, start, and you talked about these multidimensional identities and realities. And the idea that you're not changing anything, you're choosing among all the choices. The city goes, he, he specifically pointed to our videos on next level revision, which I'm gonna to touch on today. He, every guru, every coach, every, every spiritual coach says the same thing. This is what he was talking about. That circumstances do not matter. Only your state of being matters. That it's your state of being that creates matter. And they play with that term, creates matter. And he goes, it's, it, to me, it just sounded like blah, blah, blah. Because it wasn't in your channel that, that you would state things like that but you would go deeper behind it, right? Because no matter how many times somebody told me circumstances don't matter, this is what he was saying, this client, they mattered to me. These are, and I get it, guys, those experiences that you identify deeply with matter. But what are we really getting at? It meaning your identity, who you are right now, creates the circumstances, creates the circumstances past, present, and future, creates the reality or what you're experiencing past, present, and future. And those conditions change as you decide who you are right now. Past, present, and future, those conditions change, right? Who you are right now, who you decide you are right now, changes your past, present, and future. In other words, the horizontal or linear experience that belongs to that previous identity, the identity that you no longer are, belongs to him or her. You are no longer that person. So it creates a new horizontal or linear experience that makes sense, more sense to who you're being now. Bashar and all the spiritual greats talk about this. So he got, it really does feel like blah, blah, blah after a while until you get it. That you're, it's not about changing anything, altering the past or altering events. It's about choosing who you are right now with changes the script or the horizontal past that belongs to this new identity. That other, that, that other past or horizontal experience continues. It doesn't change anything. All events, all possibilities, all identities, all realities, all events, past, present, and future exist right now. And infinity includes everything. It's inclusive. It doesn't, it doesn't get rid of anything. So you're, not, so you're not changing it. You can't change infinity. You don't change God. You decide what perspective, what viewpoint are you going to see yourself now? He goes, it wasn't until I watched those videos on Next Level Revision that it really resonated with me on a deep level. It's not about changing or trying to think and feel better about any circumstances, reality, or identity. All of those exist. All of those are possible, past, present, or future, because they're all happening now. It's about choosing who you are right now. Your identity, your I, who am I, I am, without dwelling on, invalidating, or trying to get rid of anything, or any part of who you are, or any experience, right? That you, you are, you, whatever you experienced, are experiencing, or will experience, is all you. It's not about invalidating or getting rid of any of those. It's deciding who you are in relationship to all of it right now, because that changes it. It changes everything. It's really about who and the who is you. He goes, it really is about who and the who is me. This is what he said in the session yesterday. So, because I use that quite a bit from Loki, the TV show. 
Remember, revision is not about changing the past. It's about choosing it. Choosing it. Remember, it's not to heal anything. To heal means to be whole or holy. It's to see the wholeness of who you really are. To see that you're not any one identity. You're not one, any one experience. You're not any one memory or image or perception or sensation. You're all of them. And it's to see it from that perspective that you as a multidimensional being get to decide from what viewpoint are you going to see yourself now. All possible and probable past lives exist here and now. Right? We got into that discussion that there are no past lives. All your lives, you're living them all right now. Past, present, and future. So stop trying to fix who you are now by trying to change who you were. Right? You're trying to change who you were or change events to fix who you are now. Nothing needs fixing. It's deciding who you want to be now. What, through what perspective, viewpoint, do you want to see that one moment of now? That includes all of your lives, all of your experiences. It's, remember, it's really about seeing more of who you are, not less. Not trying to get rid of experiences. Not trying to ignore them the current present conditions or past conditions. It's integrating all of it. Do you see this? In becoming more of who you are, not less. Do you see it? Not trying to get rid of parts of you. All probable identities, all lives, all realities exist here and now. It's not about changing or altering any of them or any part of all it is. It's not about trying to dig up past identities and fix them or fix realities and heal that. It's about seeing yourself from all of it, knowing that it's just one experience and not letting it define who you are now, right? The past doesn't create the present. That's what we believe in. That's why we, we, you keep living that same life over again. The, the present identity creates the past and the future. It creates all of you. All your lives or versions of you exist here and now. And none of them, not one of them, are broken or need healing or fixing. Not one of them. It's about integrating all of it and becoming more of who you are, right? It's not about dwelling on it. It's not about digging it up. It, it, it's about accepting that all these possibilities exist and then move to your possibility, right? Move to what you want now. Because remember, as you move right now, as you shift in that new identity, you're no longer who you were. And that horizontal experience that you believe is your past now belongs to that previous identity. It no longer belongs to you, who you are now, right? So why is my life or reality like this? How do I change it? There's nothing wrong with those questions necessarily. But remember, it's not really about that. That keeps you focused on trying to heal something, fix something, understand something. Dig it up, come to a conclusion. Go and see someone once a week and talk about it. And, and then just keep creating it over and over again. And trying to fix it, trying to come to terms with it, trying to get closure on it. It's not about that. It's not how do you change it. It's about who, and the who is you, and you choose that who. The question themselves are okay, but the point, they point you to looking for answers in the past where there aren't any. That's what we believe. We believe the answers are in some past. The answers are within you right now. That, does, that past doesn't exist and it's not the source of anything. It's not the source of your present or anything else. This is what A Course in Miracles says. There is no point in giving an answer in terms of the past, right? Because the past does not matter. Circumstances don't matter, right? And history would not exist if the same errors were not being repeated in the present. Wow. And what's the error? You believing that that is your fixed identity, that your past created the present, that you're stuck with it, that's the, but, that, but that error you're making is that's who I am. Wow, that's powerful right there, right? Wow, 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 wow. So it's that memory of the past. Remember, what is memory? It's, it's really, remember, God doesn't use memory like you use memory. God uses memory to remember the now to remember who you are now, to see your perfect image now. It's a mental image here and now. It's an imaginal act memory. A Course in Miracles says this, all of those strange associations made to keep the past alive, 
the present dead are stored within it in that memory of who you believe you are, waiting for your command that they brought, be brought to you and lived again. Wow! Do you see this? From A Course in Miracles, all those strange associations made to keep the past alive, the present dead, are stored within it, waiting for your command that they be brought to you and lived again. You just keep living it again. Memory or remembering is an imaginal act in the present moment right now. So what, if, what are you remembering? Because you're creating it right now. The only time, the only moment there is. You can remember, imagine, any version of you in any reality you choose. Doesn't matter what you've believed you've experienced in the physical experience. You've experienced them all. You just don't remember. You're remembering wrong. When you're remembering something that's no longer your preference, that's no longer who you decide to be. It's no longer your choice that who you are. Right? But if you are remembering from a limited, separate identity of I am not, this is what we remember from. This is how we use memory. I, I'm not the person I want to be because of this, because I've been carrying this from my childhood or my teens or from work. Right? Uh, the pet, so, but if you're remembering from a limited, separate identity of I am not, of a past that seems fixed and unchangeable, and cause of your present, that seems... And, and, and the cause of your present, and the present that seems solid and immovable, and a desired future that never seems to arrive, then you are remembering you, who you are, wrong, and will be wrong about everything. Like the quote from the movie Solaris, Chris Calvin, I remembered her wrong, and somehow I was wrong about everything. When he was remembering his wife, who died by suicide, he was remembering it wrong, right? Do you see it? You're, you're, you have this past that seems fixed and unchangeable, the pre that seems to be the cause of your present, that seems solid and, immo and immovable, and a desired future that never seems to arrive. Then you're remembering it wrong. You're remembering you wrong, who you are, and you will be wrong about everything. Remember this old expression that time heals. Time doesn't heal anything. Time does nothing. Like from The Chosen, <laughs> my favorite scene at the Pool of Bethesda, another meaning here. When Jesus, your I am awareness, says it means nothing. That the pool, you can consider the pool time. It means nothing. It doesn't heal anything. The pool doesn't heal anything. Time doesn't heal anything. That's just something people say in their 3D linear experience to make them feel better. Right? But remember, it's not about feeling better, it's about being better. Being that version of you that you want to be. So, uh, to, yet time, this is what A Course in Miracles says, yet time is but another phase of what does nothing. A Course in Miracles, yet time is but another phase that does nothing. It means nothing. It does nothing. Right? It does nothing for you, as Jesus said. It works to keep you, it works to keep concealed the truth about yourself, A Course in Miracles. Very powerful. It works to keep concealed the truth about who you are, about yourself, who you really are. That you're all identities, that there is no time, it's all now. Wow, this is powerful. Time doesn't heal or create anything. Right? Yet, you make strange use of it, as a, as a Course in Miracles says, as if the past had caused the present, which is, about a, which is but a consequence in which no change can be made possible because its cause has gone. You, couldn't cha you can't change anything there. It's not about changing it. There's no cause. It's gone. It doesn't even exist. There's no cause. There's no effect. There's no past. Wow! So revision's not about changing the past but rather remembering another version of now. Revisions are not about, wow, hear this. Revisions are not about changing the past, but remembering another version of now, another version of you now, another version of reality now, another version of now, now. <laughs> the now moment. There's no place but here, and there's no time but now. So you're just remembering another version of that now moment another perspective, another viewpoint, another vantage point. Revisions about remembering or imagining another version of you, that multidimensional I am identity. When you do, you change your past, present, and future. But again, remember, you're not changing, you're choosing. In other words, 
Circumstances don't matter, past, present, and future, because they are changing in every moment and now. In other words, you're always seeing a different version. You're not changing any one version, you're choosing. You're not altering any one reality, any one version of you, any one, any one circumstance or event. You're choosing another option, you're choosing another alternative. Do you see it? Every new version of you, every new version of now, is changing in this now moment because you are creating the past, present, and future experiences right now. I've, cha I've shown this a lot, but probably more clear today than it's ever been. It's not about past lives or future lives. It all, it's about your now lives. They all exist right now, past, present, and future. Yes, there's a horizontal experience of those lives, but all of them exist now. There you are in the vertical, your I am. Awareness, who you really are. The God, son's, the, uh, the, the son of God. <laughs> and then as you imagine, as you affirm, as you remember it as you would like it to be, as you remember yourself as you would like to be, you create that experience right now. Do you see it? That's the you, that solid blue is you looking out from this perspective in your 3D experience. But remember, that experience is changing. That identity changes. The son of God, the son of man, your 3D physical experience. Do you see it? You are one, 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 one with all of it. But as you do, you change what you considered your horizontal linear past and you change what you would consider your horizontal linear future right now in every moment. It's not, it's, remember all lives exist right now. You could call them all past lives, even the future lives. That's what the whole meaning before Abraham, I am. In some ways, they're all past. It's the past past, the past present, and the past future. Because they're all horizontal experiences within the eternity, eternal moment of now. Right? You create or remember your identity or reality or life circumstances, past, present, and future. In other words, your version of now. It's all now. That's why. That's why revision doesn't change the past. It creates it here in now. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, thank you. Thank you for being part of our channel, for commenting and, and sharing the videos, for um, uh, be, being part of our Facebook group, The Ambassadors, at facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. More and more of you are joining Feel free to join and, and, and talk with others. It's a great community. Thanks for being part of our, our, our Instagram and fa and our Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen and our membership channel. We just had a, our third live stream of the year yesterday morning that's now available for viewing on the channel. It was a powerful event. And I answered questions that were sent to us ahead of time. And I answered questions during the live chat as well. There's more coming. There'll be another one coming next month. Stay tuned. For that. If you're a member, join us. If you're not, check out the link below. There's also a membership video, another content video coming on the membership channel. With great love, with great light and infinite gratitude, creators, until next time, happy Easter. See you soon.